Okay, hey guys, welcome back to Stardew. Um, I, I was randomly joined in chat by apparently my downstairs printer. <laughs> Someone just had a very clever uh, Twitch name. Hello, Ignis. Right, they didn't like me today, right? Either they're somewhat annoyed. Lee still... Or not Lee. Why do I always call Robin Lee? Robin's still working on my house. Don't need to water my crops, at least. Okay, one gold. Hello. Oh, cool. I'm mainly just talking to you, but... Okay. Let's see... Okay. Have I been enjoying it? Um, I've been liking it. Uh, I've heard, like, I've heard differing opinions from people who are just like, eh, it's like any other farming sim. Or like, oh, there's something really special about this game. And I've said it on previous streams, but, I mean, I repeat myself all the bloody time. Um, I'm, I like farming sims like this, but I'm terrible at them. <laughs> so that was another reason I was just like, gotta do it. I watched uh, my favorite YouTuber. Um, where the bloody hell do these go? Aquamarine would probably go there. And there. Okay, so ghost fish would go over here. Um, I watched him do a uh, uh, like his one hundred percent, and I was inspired. I was like, oh, I should just pick this up and try it on stream, and I can just do it as a pickup put down. So. That's, I mean, that's partially why as well, because it's just a nice little... No, not the blacksmith bundle. Not the geologist either? Where, where are, where do you go, Amethyst? Right? Is that what it is? Uh, aquamarine. I also shamelessly use the internet. Aquamarine. Bonk. Okay, it goes in... Okay, it goes in the dye bundle. Chef, fodder, enchanter, field research, dye. Sunflower. Red cabbage. So you do the sunflower, the red cabbage, and a duck feather. Oh, shit, my mushrooms. But yeah, I mean, I've been enjoying Stardew quite a bit so far. It's very charming. Um, I did do some research, and I've talked to friends who have put, like, a shit ton of hours into Stardew before actually starting. So I've done, like, eh, very, like, basic research. Because when I told one of my friends that I wanted to 100% um, it, their reaction was, please be kind to yourself. <laughs> Aha! I need those blue mushrooms. Alright. I do, I do. Wait, what are they again? Purple mushroom, okay. Is there more than one? Ah! Oh, God! Hi, Trillium! What are we loudly wanting? Mushrooms. Yeah! Yeah, mushrooms, not bats. Also, apparently, my, uh, my printer is sentient and has joined the chat. Look, uh, mushrooms are harder to find. I weighed the pros and cons of this on stream. They're harder to find <laughs> um, in the mines, at least with my luck. And fruits can be kind of done like at any point in the season. And if I wanted, once I get the greenhouse repaired, I can um, I can put like plant fruit trees in there, and then they'll be there forever. You know, like I can plant like one fruit tree, one of each fruit tree, and it will be in there. 
Yes, I know. Bats are sweet and adorable, and I love them. But... Mushrooms are wonderful. In cases of me getting an easy... Bats are so cute! But this is... This is... I think a little easier for me in the long run. No, I need the exotic foraging bundle. Oh, well, no. One of them was the researcher's bundle, I think. Field research bundle. Okay. I just need the Nautilus shell now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, you're hardcore judging me, you of all people. <laughs> you of all people. I just... So judge. Yeah! I found quite a few winter things in the mines. Like, half of my winter foraging is done already. I need to find a rainbow shell for Mr. Key, though. Uh, Alo helped me with that one. Mod! Mod's in chat. I don't know if they're still here, but, uh, there's someone with an excellent username who wasn't here. I don't know if they're still here and they're vibing out. Ah, there's that guy who's like, you're not ready yet, tee hee hee. Yeah, go hit my house, please. Or not my house, my lightning rod, please. Okay. I've wasted so much time <laughs> that I could have spent in the mines. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a little alarmed by the way everyone keeps saying that. Alo used, like, that smirking cat emote that they have that I love, but, like, it never means good things for me at the same time. Yeah, okay, thanks for the sonic wink. You're right you're right here as I call you out on your shit, Alo. Okay. Oh, we'll kill everything for. Speak of the Alo and they shall appear. But yeah, sorry about the earlier conversation, Alo. I forgot that or I didn't forget. I didn't realize we switched games. I, need, I still need to play that series you were talking about. The Legends of Heroes series. I have them all. Uh, two of them on PC. And three of them on PS4. Are you thinking of Chris like Chris Redfield? Because, you know... Resident Evil Village dropped today, and the the chat name made me laugh so hard I had to read it to uh, to Katie. Yeah, Chris. So, you want to tell that story, Katie? Oh, I miss the solar essence. Oh no, he didn't leave. I want that solar essence, sir. Yeah. Yes. No, it is not Chris meanness. I don't know enough about Resident Evil to be mean to Chris.
Yeah. So mod co-opt RE5 with a friend of ours. Yeah, I, I don't know, like, jack about any of the Resident Evil characters except for Seven. Which I loved Seven. But anyway, yes, uh, Maud is typing out her story. And I made a comment that Wesker has an unhealthy obsession with Chris that will one day be the death of him. Which is true. I do know that much. Bet. Where are you, bet? Someone was like, then you should play RE5, and I was like, dude. <laughs> yeah, considering Wesker's last words while ripping his shirt off are Chris! Chris and Wesker is another one of Blank's top ships. Perfect. Um, they'll be happy with what the fuck's been going on then, because Chris, from what I understand of Village, has been super, like, emo lately. And, like, the cover has him, like, half turning into- it looks like a lycanthrope, and there are lycanthropes in the game. So I'm like, Chris? And, of course, we know he works for the new Umbrella. He's not happy about it, but he does it. He's sad he killed his boyfriend. Uh, and then... Um, he, like... He guns someone, I won't say who, down in cold blood and then just takes Ethan away to Romadia. Being like, LMAO, go rescue this loved one of yours now. But, like, it was someone innocent in cold blood in, like, one of the trailers, and we're all like, what the fuck, Chris? It censored what? If you actually know who Chris gunned down, I'm gonna be- and you're actually- you mean that all, I'm gonna be really sad. Cause that character gets a lot of hate, and I like them a lot. I am very genuine. That makes me sad! I like them! They get so much hate. Wesker killed Dumbledore confirmed. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, unless nobody here cares about Resident Evil 7 spoilers, then I'll say it. I mean, the game's been out for like four years. Come here, ghost man. I want your... I want your essence. I'll just say it. It's Mia. And I'm very upset because I like Mia and people give her shit all the time because they're like, well, she worked for Umbrella. Ugh. And I'm like, all right. But then they're like, Zoe stands. And I'm like, Zoe's so boring. Zoe's just like, Ethan, I need out of here. I don't know how to do an accent. It slips all over the place. Maybe I belong here. I'm like, Zoe, I wish you were more interesting. I like, I genuinely do. I wish there was more to her. And what if both are bad? I like Mia. I think she's a badass. I- I think she regretted what she did. Can we all agree that Evelyn sucks?
That accent is how Zoe's voice actress sounds! <laughs> I'm literally just doing an impression of Zoe's voice actress. She literally sounds terrible. She's supposed to have that, that kind of like bayou, not bayou, um... What are words? Yes, that's the little girl, because Evelyn is the little girl. Because you want to know what? One of the writers from Fear was also writing Resident Evil 7, and they can't do anything but write scary little girls. And she was annoying. The Daughters DLC had a chance to make Zoe and Evie really interesting, Evelyn. But it just went like, no, Evie showed up and then she just went, she just made the bakers crazy. And meanwhile, I'm sitting there like, Jack Baker was awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Just get me to the next floor. Please. My hot takes on Resident Evil 7 alone. Because I haven't played any other Resident Evil game. Oh my god, just get me to the next floor! There will be an elevator for me, please. Oh, Jack? I love Jack Baker. He's amazing. There, god damn it. Like, the three bakers, like, the three, like, the villainous ones, uh, were great. Lucas is, Lucas is evil. Like, straight evil. Oh, God. Triss. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Olo on this one. No. Jack is happily married. Get out of here. <laughs> he was such a sweetheart, too. Oh, the cat is sleeping in the bed. Oh, well, I'm going to pass out, actually, so I'll just ship that shit tomorrow. Fine, whatever. Cat, get... Cat! Really, I tried to sleep. Moving up. Oh, because I upgraded my house. Level 5 combat fighter or scout? All attacks deal 10% more damage. Critical strike chance increased by 50%. I'll do that. Ethan <laughs> slashed his hand since it gets cut off. It was once. It was once. He's wearing a jacket in the new one, so I'm like... How those staples look, man. Oh, man. Look at that big bed. Look at this. My house is bigger. They're very happy today. And I got a battery that I guess I'll sell. Play eight? You mean play seven? Eight just came out today. Oh, well, no spoilers! I haven't watched shit! My favorite YouTuber's putting out uh, his Let's Play of 8, so I'm waiting for him. Don't spoil 8. I actually care about Ethan. I like Ethan, unlike a lot of the fandom. I think he's a sweet dude. Is it spoilers to say Ethan gets fucked up? He's Ethan. That's fair. I 
Oh, I mean, Olo has a valid point there. It is Ethan. But I mean, I like him because he's just like a normal dude. He's not... I mean, like, I know the others are like special ops. And that's about as much as I know. And I know, like, the memes. Jill Sandwich and all that. Okay, good lord. Uh, no. No, 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 okay. Nope. Already put that there. Already put the... Stuff there. Battery pack. Blah. Okay. Oh, I got another level lead rod. Holy shit. Alright. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, I was like, can I take something out? Jake and Sherry? I'm confused. I need bait. One, two, three. I don't really throw things away. I'm also saving money for fall. For Capitalist Pierre. All I need to know about Resident Evil is Chris Eva smacking sense into Joe crocodiles. I do know he punches. Um, I do know he crunches. Uh, crunches. I do know he punches boulders. There was one. Oh my god! I have to talk about this. I I have to talk about it all the time. Well, actually, you you said R R E V, which is technically Resident Evil Five in Roman numerals, so you still got it right. Um. I actually, Mod and I were talking, and uh, once I eventually play through the Resident Evil series, she might be down to co-op 5 with me, like on stream. Um, ah yes, okay, the rainbow shell, I needed to put that somewhere for Mr. Key. Glad, I'm glad I got it. Bait, bait, okay. Um, but no, okay, I have to talk about this thing with Chris. It's so funny. Um, one of my friends, back when I worked in gaming retail, um, he was like, with the, when the new Marvel vs. Well, it's not new anymore, but ornamental fan. When Marvel vs. Capcom uh, came out, he was like, have you watched the trailer? And I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna wait for, like, the super special edition to drop or whatever. And, uh, he was like, no, seriously. And he took me in the back of the store, like, the back room, and, like, pulled up the trailer on his phone. And, uh, had me watch it. And it was, like, to the point where, like, Cap's shield got crushed and everything. And, um... Oh, I already have one of the vertebrae. Uh, like, Cap's shield got crushed and stuff like that. And, like, uh, by, like, Ultron and whoever else in Capcom was super powerful. Um. And, uh, oh god, my mushrooms. And, like, everyone was just screwed. Like, and the the combined villain is just there, like, laughing or whatever the fuck. And then you just hear, BAKING! As this little bullet ricochets off his shoulders. And without turning around, he just goes, Ah, Commander Redfield. And, like, there's just uh, old school Bara Chris with his tiny little pea shooter gun because he's so built. Just advancing on the villain like I'm gonna fucking get you and it's just it made me laugh so hard like it's nothing against Chris it was just how they framed that whole scene I was pretty much crying 
I was like, wow. You made Chris look pretty fucking stupid. This is the samurai edge. It looked like a pea shooter in his hands by the way they had him holding it. You can blame Marvel vs. Capcom for that. Okay, he said to put it in the box, right? Hang on. Oh, great. Uh, Mr. Key said to put it in the box. In the, oh, in the train station. I thought he said the bus station. Okay, I'm a dumb. <laughs> Pea shooter. Look, I haven't played... Fucking damn it. I haven't played the Resident Evils. I have them all. I know I should just sit down and do it. I think I talked about this last time. Like, you either start with Silent Hill or uh, Resident Evil, and I started with Silent Hill. My mushrooms! Or not here. Maybe I already grabbed them today or they take a couple of days. Woodpecker. One bun. Bye, Mara. Hey, thanks, Robin. Hey there, Val. So, DJ, we got some new carpentry projects. Doing okay? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? I love my roomy new cottage. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Um, I actually recently watched a stream of said uh, favorite YouTuber, uh, like, replaying Alien Isolation. He did it on hard mode, and then he was like, what was even the point of that? I just should have replayed it on regular. Um... And, uh, oh, is this how you get the thing to go away? I'm guessing it's this box. Yes. Through the shell into the box, immediately a note falls down from the rafters above. Well done. Your next task, place ten beets inside the Maya's fridge. What? Mr. Key, what the hell are you asking me to do? Beets? But anyway, he was doing hot takes, and I agreed with him on this hot take that I was okay with no more Silent Hill, just because, man. <laughs> like, it sucks what happened to Silent Hills. Like, I'm heartbroken. But, like, people are still trying to emulate PT. It's still bad. Like, all the emulations. The PT was excellent. But, like, all the emulations are still bad. They don't get what made PT amazing. And, like... Yeah, it could have been, like... The Silent Hill game that I was essentially... Like, my, my dream, honestly, was, like... Do a game that was, like amazing again that everyone universally loved like silent hill 2 although i'll talk about silent hill 2 in a second like just like capcom just they're not capcom konami just make like one more game like silent hill 2 and then just call the series done because man it had some stinkers homecoming was garbage <laughs> mm. no konami make a good game Come back here. But then, you know, Konami went to the top of my shit list overnight for what they did to Kojima. And, uh, what they did to Silent Hill. Yeah, just pachinko. Aren't some of their, uh, Castlevania pachinkos, uh, like, very pornographic? One of them is, like, pornographic. One of their IPs that they held on to. And slots. Don't forget slots.
But yeah, like, Homecoming was awful. I haven't played Downpour in so long, honestly. I'd need to replay it to give my opinion on it. But I don't remember hating it that much. But, like, it was starting to... I don't know, man. But yeah, Silent Hill 2, I find hilarious that everyone universally loves it. And is like, it's the best. And I'm like... Oh, they're all... I mean, I was like, the first three are all amazing games. Harry Mason is, like, the best dad in video games. Um... And did not deserve what happened to him. Poor Harry. Um... But, uh... Like, the funny thing is, is, like... Two is the anomaly in the series. It's the only one that doesn't deal with the cult. Besides the, uh, besides Shattered Memories. But it's the only one that doesn't deal with the cult. And, like, look, I get it. Silent Hill 2 is amazing. Like, I wrote my senior thesis comparing Silent Hill 2 to, uh, the ideals of Victorian filth and how they carried over into modern media especially video games. Great paper, fun paper. Um, like, I lived that game for quite a while. Oh, great. Um, but like, one and three are also really good guys, and please stop taking Pyramid Head out of context. He's a representation of James and his sexual, like, his sexual urges. Not, you know, just a cool dude that randomly has sex with mannequins. Well, not randomly, but and not has sex, but you know. I don't know what Twitch will. What Twitch will, uh. wag their finger at me for, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna push it. But you know, you know what I fucking mean. Sexy Parodius. My god, I forgot about Sexy Parodius. I probably blocked it from my memory, to be honest. <laughs> Look, sometimes I just feel like I gotta protect myself, man. Oh, I also want to say, uh, really quick, this is gonna be my last stream for, like, over a week. I'm gonna be hagaon, going up to my cabin, which has basically no internet. It's satellite internet what works when works when it wants to. Um and uh and no cell service. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. So, I'll be going there next week and I'm excited. To let... There we go. I'm excited. Gave okay, carrots. Um yeah, I know I need to- I know, I know I need to go. Oh, I'm so close to level- Ooh, coffee bean! Coffee bean! Horror movie time. What do you mean, horror movie time? It's not really a break from the internet so much as it is a break from... ...everything else. <laughs> the internet is my break from everything else, and... ...that's a statement in and of itself. But, like... ...yeah. 
it's just kind of a break from society on a whole. It's a nice place to go do that. Okay, we're gonna go hang on to that coffee bean for sure. Fuck yeah, coffee bean. Okay. And... No! Forget. I always, like, think to rearrange shit. Okay. Oh, I forgot to sell the lead bat. God damn it. Okay. Weather report... Clear and sunny. Fortune. Oh, I don't need the fortune teller. Oh, I have room in the fridge for shit. I should take that cake out of one of the things and put it in the fridge. Yes, go to sleep for the night. Oh, cell service. Isolated cabin in the woods. Oh! Oh, shit. I haven't done any animal products yet, but... Mmm. Mmm. would do. I mean, I know I can just go back and change this, honestly. If I find myself doing something. So, but animal products being worth 20% more? Does that also include, like, stuff you make from animal products? Like mayonnaise and eggs and stuff? Or is it just, like, the raw materials? Like, you know, just eggs and truffles. I don't know if truffles would be considered a product. No idea, honestly. Huh. I'll do this for immediate, but if I start getting more money off of Rancher, I know I can go back and change it. So, like, I read that, so... Ready, you can go back and change your special tie. Oh, I have a bedroom now. I can decorate it with those paintings. Well, I don't know why I took the white put the white algae in here, just because I felt like it, I guess. Um, there's a cake. And one of those chests outside. Yeah. Put it in the fridge now. Fall's almost here. It's arguably the most lucrative season for farmers. So make sure you're saving up money to buy new seeds. If you haven't upgraded your water and can by now, it's probably a good idea. Screw you. I know to do it in the winter. Um. Cake. Okay. How do I... Oh, okay. Press square. There's no room there for that. I'm trying to place it on a wall. Are you in the way? You're likely in the way. Well, I want both paintings. There we go. No, my bed! Oh! You're a fucking genius. You know that? I want this. God damn it, it's not stretched enough. God! 
see, this is the one I would want huge. Like, just hanging over my whole bed. So, I'll just place it in there, I guess. There. Actually, no. You come here. There. For now. Just for now. Give me that rock. Not the TV. <laughs> Leave the ding dong damn TV. There we go. I like rocks. I want my geode there. My chicken statue should not be afraid of being lit on fire anymore. It's almost like I've played too much of this. No, it's not the touchpad. It's uh, the other analog stick. You had it. It's the right analog stick. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you afterwards. So I'll be on late. Oh no, the TV is like ganked. Go. I know I can't place it on a wall, but like it's. Oh, was it always that? I messed up where it's supposed to go. Well, well, damn. Farmer Val, my knees acting up again. You know it helps rubbing the darn thing with hot pepper. Trouble is my supplies run dry. If you got one to spare, I'd be much obliged, George. Well, George, if I get a hot pepper before summer ends, I'll save it for you. I was trying to go over my my gurnal. God damn it. Okay. Sort of shit. It's a CRT, you got a fat ass. Oh yeah, I know they do. I got one in my basement. For my retro games. It's a CRTV we've had since I was like really young. Still works great. Oh, my corn. My corn will keep going through fall too, so that you scared off 17 crows. I'm proud of you, Mr. Scarecrow. But yeah, back to the Resident Evil talk. I, I can't say shit about, like, any of the other games. I really can't. I was always under the impression that Resident Evil was more bang-bang shooty zombies. And then I heard, like, that the first three are actually really into survival horror. Like, more Silent Hilly and more creepy. And then I watched a playthrough of 7 and I fell in love with it. And it was just amazing. And, uh... Yeah. 3 is where it started getting shootier? I thought 4 was, but... I will take the, the, uh... I will take the words of someone who has actually played the damn things. Instead of, you know, me and my uninformed dumb opinion. Or dumb preconception, I should say. It's not really an opinion. Yeah, puzzle games, definitely. I do know, like, the Resident Evil puzzle... Uh... Like, I just... Like, the shadow puzzles and the... Cr like, from uh, Seven and, like, the crests and stuff like that. Okay. Let's go check on the beach. Keep in mind, I didn't own a non-Nintendo system until, like, 7th grade. It was a PS2. It was my first non-Nintendo system. I grew... It, it wasn't, like, any bias. Like, I want a Nintendo! I was just... It's just... Like, my dad loved Nintendo. Ever since it came out. So he was just like... The hell yeah, Nintendo. And then when I started branching out, he got curious. <laughs> Bless his heart. This is how I have a copy of Eternal Darkness. For the GameCube. Uh, because otherwise I would not. And I'd be paying out the ass for it now. 
but um, he would always buy games for my systems, intending to play them, and never did. And I think that's really actually very adorable. It's actually how I have quite a few of my games nowadays that I treasure very much, uh, including Eternal Darkness. I found a still-sealed copy of it, and I obviously unsealed it because I wanted to play it. Um, after, uh, after he died, I found a s still sealed copy of it in his study when we were cleaning it out. And I unsealed it and played it. He always loved watching me, like, like sitting and watching me play games, even if he didn't get it. Yeah, 5 is the one that became an action game because Chris punches boulders. I do know that. A previous friend I had just would not let that go. He punched a boulder and, like, threw it into a volcano or something like that. Eh, it's fine. But yeah, that's how I have quite a few of my games, actually. That's how I have my Grand Theft Auto Vice City. After I got my PS2, my dad was like, Oh, sweet, GTA. And he bought Vice City. Well, I have to go see what that is. Oh, they were running around in a volcano and he punched the boulder. I just had, knew it had something to do with volcanoes. But yeah, that combined with uh, getting the Albert uh, 001 that Chris throws down to Ethan at the end of 7. When Evelyn's like, Adabadadad! Four hearts with Robin. I was like, oh, her thingy changed. That joke is from John Wolf, not me. Because <laughs> he just mimics what she sounds like, and she sounds like that. Oh, lost page. But it's fucking hilarious. Um... Yeah, but yeah, after Chris was like, Use it! And so it was called the Albert 001, and I was like, oh, Wesker. <laughs> the reason RE7 Chris exists is just because his mocap guy was just skinnier. Like, that's it. Everyone, and I know this again because my favorite YouTuber, who, again, if you guys haven't guessed by now, by the way, I have him on, like, recommended streamers. It's John Wolf. He's excellent. I try not to do, like, hero worship stuff too much, but, like, he just, he loves Resident Evil. Um, and he does really good critiques on stuff, so I like him a lot. But anyway, um, like, he was getting pissed off at the fandom because people were just in his comments constantly uh being like it's uh oh god i don't know like it's ooh diamond um people were saying like it was hunk or something like that like they were just saying it can't be chris he would never work for umbrella and john was just screaming he was like it's a redesigned logo it's a new umbrella There's nothing to do with Wesker. Um, but yeah, like, it, the reason really legitimately is, is that, yeah, I know, I know he looks completely different because Chris is super duper bara. He's just like muscles. Everywhere. He's super muscly. 
And yeah, the new the new Chris is decidedly not. Although, yeah, you're right, they beefed him up for this one. And yeah, they got a new voice actor for him, and that voice actor did the mocap. And he's skinny. So they made him skinny. And I think Capcom realized that everyone was throwing a fucking fit, so they bulked Chris up a little bit again. Uh, a little bit. Or, yeah, yeah. We're, we're on and off talking Resident Evil and the new one, and no spoilers for Village, because I'm watching, uh... I'm watching my YouTuber play it, and he hasn't posted anything yet? He said he's played about three hours of it. And he's gonna post when he can. Olo, meanwhile, has watched 10 hours. And potentially spoiled that Ethan might get his hand chopped off again. And I know jack shit about the others. Despite having them. Just one day, man, I'll sit down and do it. I say that about a lot of series, but you know what? I'll just fucking do it one day. Uh, Ray, yeah. Ray posted a clip from, uh, what I now say with a sigh is Life is Strange 2, but it made me laugh so hard. Or he was like, I've never felt more attacked by a game in my life. And it was the annoying little brother, Daniel, being like, do you like Minecraft? And he was like, what the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> it was great. God, though, if anyone wants a collector's edition of Life is Strange 2, I'm selling it for 50 bucks. <laughs> Gotta put it up on eBay, but... Oof. Cringe. Come on. Ghost! I'm excited to watch John play it. He's he's in the camp that is uh, pro Lady um, Dimitriscu, so it's really funny to watch his reactions because he just doesn't get that way about, about fictional characters. So it's pretty funny. Ooh, gold ore. I'm more excited about that diamond. I I'm just saying this out loud. I can't sell the diamond. I'm not allowed to sell that damn diamond. Oh. God, no, there's, I always get to level 68 when it's time to go to bed and I find shit. Damn it. No, leave me alone. I have to leave the mines. I know everybody's lusting after Lady Dimitriscu. I just think her design is cool. Uh, or Dimitriscu. They pronounce it in game as Domitriscu, and I know Romanians are throwing a fit. <sighs> I would chance that kill everything level, but it's getting too close to what I am. People want to be crushed by Domitriscu, and Chris is right there. Oh, man, when I actually go through the series, you, you'll know my opinions. Again, I only know seven. And I, I know, like, certain parts of other Resident Evil games. I know, like, some of the memes. Uh, Triss is actually the reason I bought, uh, what the French toast was it? Um, uh, Code Veronica.
because she showed me that clip of the villain being like, Tee, welcome, Claire! And I thought it was one of the funniest things I'd ever seen in my life. Looks like a storm. Perfect. I don't need to go around and do my normal bullshit. Alright. Yes, go to seep. Yeah, you were obsessed with Resident Evil 4. I remember that. Oh, shit. Okay. One more or per vein or a chance for gems to appear in pairs. Oh. 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 Shit. <sighs> Can I have both? <laughs> I don't get the Dimitrescu thing. Yeah, I know you don't. I don't either. I just think her design's neat. Minor. That sounds good, but like gems, man. But it doesn't say that they'll increase more. It just says when gems appear, they'll appear in pairs. Although you, I know you're trolling. First is better for crafting. Second is better for cash. <laughs> Bollocks. Does it involve Krisker? <laughs> I did not believe Katie when she told me that was the fucking ship name. I was like, get the fuck out of here. She's like, no, that's what it is. Really? I was like, fuck off. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm there. You like it ironically. You ship it ironically, which is so funny to me. Oh, but, oh my god. Again, can't I just have both? Crap, I'm gonna need to craft things. But, like, I immediately want money. Well, shipping something ironically is, like, you ship it, but you don't actually ship it, you know? Like, yeah, I... <laughs> the text might be right there, but, you know... It's cowardice. <laughs> no, it's objective. It's a matter of taste, Allo. Okay, seriously though. Fuck. Crafting or money? I've seen farms where they have, like, houses full of diamonds. Like, little sheds full of diamonds. <laughs> no, Alo. It's... It, no. It's a matter of opinion. Money, but don't listen to the coward! My friends. <laughs> oh my shit. Oh my shit. I don't know. I think for that sick bird, I might choose geologist. Holy shit, Katie. Ah. Is that a burn? I think it was. Or she was at least being sarcastic. She's 100% being sarcastic. Yeah, smartass. I call her a smartass all the time and her response is better than being a dumbass. Fucking, you're an asshole. Mm. If there is a gem repli- If that's how they have a thing with the gem replicator later. Mm. 
Then yeah, I'll do the minor. I can always change it. Again, I know I say this every time. I'm not happy about that. I want both. God, I'm making sick-ass money, though. Really? I'll save a... Uh, I'll save my diamond for that, though, and then donate it to Gunther then. Yeah, you're, you're losing me. I don't know who the other person is. Fortune teller. They're in good humor today. Fucking perfect. Perfect day for the mines. Don't need to water my crops. Oh, no, I need to go get the mushrooms. It's good that you don't know because then you can't yell at me. Okay, well, I'll find a reason to yell at you about it once I actually play Resident Evil, then. <laughs> How's that? Okay. Oh! Didn't I need to get 99 slimes? Is that still needed? Or did I fulfill that bundle? Get in the box. Oh, hello, lightning. Froggo. Holy crap. I, speaking of, please have hit my lightning rod. Uh, speaking of frogs, I, <laughs> I wanted a Politoed. I'm rippling Pokemon Crystal on my 3DS. It's a very dated statement in all senses. Um, and I wanted a Politoed that knew Hydro Pump. So I've had a Poliwag until level 43. And I am... Fuck you, Shane. I am stupidly proud of myself. It is now my strongest Pokemon. Considering I'm not even at clear yet. Again, please have hit my lightning rod. Uh. Oh, good. Trash. There. But yeah, I'm super fucking proud of myself. I had it holding every stone, and I just went and power leveled it last night. And then I evolved it into a polyworld finally. And then I get to trade it tomorrow when I go see my mod. And... Oh, okay. It is a sweet pea, I can see. Um, I will have a polytoad. With that no hydro pump. Very proud of myself. Hey, Robin. All right, let's hit the mines. As soon as my brain made the connection of like, oh, this is Minecraft-esque, I'm just like, yes. Really? Fucking really? Well, to me for my scythe. Dick. Mare. Ah! 
Ooh, another crystal fruit. No, wait. Oh, shit. You know what I want to say. Or play. What do you want to play? That actually likely isn't Final Fantasy 15. For the third time. And I'm actually being sincere in that. DDR? You do have your mats. We got stuff to do tomorrow, though. maybe? No. Damn it. I love that your old Hori mats still work. When, like, the official DDR mats shit out forever ago. Also, my mod knows what I'm talking about. Uh, someone beat Sephiroth on Proud Boat, I think, in Kingdom Hearts 1 uh, on their DDR dance pad. It's kind of the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Ooh, an Omni Geode! Holy shit! Bat. Not Hori? Yeah, Sarah Key. What, uh, what is it? Oh, oh, it was Mad Cats. That's right. Like, one of the worst off-brands to ever off-brand. It's Mad Cats. Everything else they put out is hot garbage. But apparently their DDR mats are just amazing. Well, yeah, because Mad Cat stuff usually doesn't last more than five days. stuff is such garbage. Are they still in business? Yeah, I don't know why I dissed on Hori. Hori makes pretty decent products. Hyperkin's pretty crap. Note to anyone who gives a shit, if you need third party stuff, get Hori. H-O-R-I if you can. Don't get Hyperkin. Don't, unless you absolutely have to. Hyperkin has a 50-50 shot of working. Or completely shitting out on you. Mad Cats is still in business? It's a go ghost fish that was freaking the ever living fuck out. Give me that quartz. Okay, it's 5 p.m. Can I make it to level 70? Oh, okay. They're just doing keyboards and arcade sticks. Yes, I do have, uh, I already put my ghost fish in the fishing bundle. I decided to fish at the end of the last one and caught a ghost fish. And I put it in the bundle. The beginning of this episode. Holy God! Turn around! I can't move. Okay. God dang. Eat. 
Oh. Hey, 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 hey. You hurt me. I, yeah, I was wondering about that. I was like, did they just bone? And the only way that slimes can? And yes, they did. I averted my eyes. Oh, shit. Get my health up a little bit. Yeah, I like that dagger, but I don't like that it doesn't have an arc. I like being able to hitch it from the side. Man, another bag that's likely filled with coal. It's just not always gives me the heebie jeebies, man. Yep. Asexual skinks. I know you love coal, it's more just like creepy that it's like it means that somebody died down here, man. You like coal in Minecraft too. Is there a thing or do I oh I hadn't explored the rest of this floor apparently. Stop <laughs> Stop hitting me where I'm stupid. I beg you. I have energy aplenty. My health is just low because I'm ridiculous. What did I just say? Please. Stop. Cave carrots, yes. Love me that high crit. Or they died. They've mentioned that they've mentioned in text that a lot of people have died. Fucking Linus has no need for false idols like currency. It's just coal. I think she's referring to um, Li when Linus pulls you out and tells you that he found somebody uh, stealing your shit because that actually happened to me once and I was like what? And you were like yeah that happens. I think that's what she meant. Aha! Linus defenders roll out. Ghost. Here, Mr. Ghost Man. Oh my god, I'm I've spent all day on these five levels. Are you shitting me? I'm getting down to level seventy, I sort of shit. I 
I see chat yelling at me, I think. Or talking to me. I'm going for it. I'm just... Aha! A master slingshot. Which means I'll just get rid of the other slingshot that I got. Oh my god, go home. Anyway, I'm out. Enjoy the mining. Okay, bye, Allo. I did it! Get the fuck home! Now run, bitch. Yep, bye. Oh well. It's fine, I made it out of the mine. Nobody stole my fucking cash. Cowpoke. They will. What? Ah, bollocks. Oh, it's raining again. Spirits are somewhat annoying today. God, speaking of. Okay, well, I just heard real life thunder. The medical bills. I'm not supporting Joja. Um... I just heard real life thunder, so if if my internet suddenly goes out, <laughs> that's the end of that. Okay, I have to save one hot pepper for George. For when I actually feel like becoming friends. Okay, inventory is full. Dear Val, oh, someone dropped you off at the clinic at last night. You passed out from exhaustion. Take better care of yourself. Go to I, look, I was nearly home, Harvey, but thank you. Anyway, they're somewhat annoyed, so... Okay, I need to... Jade, iron ore... Oh, no, give me to make seeds back. Driftwood, solar, no keep. Um, I think I only need the ghost fish for one thing. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do another run because in order to plat it, you need to support Joja. Um. Okay, I only need the ghost fish. Go, go. Okay, yeah, no, I only need one ghost fish. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're supporting Joja. You're taking the chaos route. You're taking the bad route. Pier, the capitalist pier is going to shut down. Oh. I was just under the impression of avoid them. Oh, it's random which one you get. I was like, I was just under the impression of fucking avoid them. Really, a diamond isn't... Oh, Gunther can tell me more, but I'll just fucking wait. Okay. Keep those frozen tears. <sighs> Oof. That's gonna be nice. Hello, Frog. Okay. Now keep uh, one pepper for George. There. Who's a good kitty? can sell this too. Actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm in my first year. Ooh, star fruit. Yeah. 
Not needed in the community center. Oh, wow. Look at how much that... Uh, oh, I need to sell everything at least once, though. I'll sell it. Save the starfruit. Save it. Fine. Fine. It'll go in my fridge with the cake. Even though it's silver. There. Um, bait. Bait, 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 bait. One, two, three. I know star fruits are important for something. Oh, oh, and then you generate more money. Yeah, I like rolling in dough. Fuck you, Shane. I saw Shane in lightning struck. Fuck you, Shane. Oh, I need to go talk to Robin. Oh, no, I'll go hang out at the beach first. Whatever. Not gonna go into the mines today. Shane is an alcoholic asshole. That's what he did to me. No, he doesn't. He drinks again. I actually went and looked that up. And talked to my friends about it. Oh, God, creepy dude. Yeah, no, he doesn't stop. Concerned Ape does a very real portrayal of alcoholism. And that uh, love will not always stop alcoholics. I already know who I'm going to marry. No, Shane's an asshole. No, I did my research on who I wanted to marry, like, way before I... That's like... It's like romance options? Who do I want to marry? I'll spoil the shit out of that. Oh, why do you think I'm keeping frozen tears? And not selling the shit out of them. Ah! You. There we go. Tilapia. Oh wow, I got an iridium snapper. Holy shit. Oh, and it's needed. Both of you are needed in the community center. See if I can get another red snapper that's not iridium. Holy shit. Eh, eh. Legs. Seaweed. I'll eventually not sell seaweed, but for now I'm gonna sell seaweed. I'll make my fish ponds later when I figure out how I want my farm to go. Slop 
be again. Can I get another red, please? I want to sell that iridium fish. Yes. I had someone in here earlier asking if they could co-op, and I was like, sorry, it's a solo run. <gasps> Hi, Seb! Hi, Seb. Hi, 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 hi. What? Tomorrow we'll all be gathering at the docks to see the migration of the Moonlight Jellies. I think it starts at 10 o'clock. Really? Tell me more. He did it again. Perfect. I was hoping to get that reaction out of him. Oh, good. Okay. Um, okay. I didn't see my readout for a sec, and I was like, oh no. Did my microphone go stupid? Oh, man. Remember in Deadly Prem when my mic stopped working for the second half of an entire fucking... Uh, stream? And I just didn't notice. So... Everyone thought I just wasn't explaining how the fuck fishing worked in that game. When, God, fishing needed to be explained in that game because everything needs to be explained in that game. Oh. That was fun. Actually, that was fun. I missed Deadly Prime. I'm gonna see how the PC releases and how the side quests and shit are before I stream it. But I will be streaming Deadly Prim 2 at some point. On my list. It's a great game. It's one of the only reasons I touched my Switch last year. It's like Pokemon Snap is one of the only reasons I'm touching my Switch this year. I didn't play Snap today like I wanted to. Oh. I woke up too late, and then I was busy. And tomorrow, Mod and I are going to be busy. Flounder. Aren't we, Mod? We're going to be busy tomorrow. Ish. I think busy when I first show up. And we... Fuck you! Uh... Not you, Mod. I'm sorry. Um, the fish. <laughs> I realized the timing on that. Uh... <laughs> oh, GG me. Bye, Seb. Hi, Seb. Bye, Seb. Hi. Hi. Hi, Seb. Aw, you clipped right through me. I'm, ac I'm actually not running after him. I'm looking at my uh, health there, so. I'm gonna go drop shit off at the community center. Hmm. 
then I guess forage around. Summer doesn't really have good foraging drops like uh, spring do, though. But yeah, I'm guessing we'll only be busy mainly after I get there. Are we just going to do like a get in loser? We're getting all our shit done thing. Pretty much. Okay, cool. Hopefully the brakes on my car are okay and I'm just being a paranoid piece of shit. There should be... Two. Oh no. Okay, no, I got a red mullet. That's different. Okay. The tilapia and the red snapper gotta go, though. But yeah, hopefully the, uh... <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the brakes on my car, and I'm just mishearing shit. Red snapper? Red snapper. Put the gold one in there. And the tilapia! Oh, I'm gonna finish my ocean fish bundle! Yay! Whoop. Ah, consumed on use. Five warp totems to the beach. Okay. Right, I can go sell these. I haven't talked to Robin yet, either, so I need to go talk to Robin, because she's the only human I have contact with right now. Because I unintentionally gave her back her axe. So, make nice with my future mother-in-law, pretty much. Um, and then... Uh... Sell that shit at the guild. Robin? Mars there. Okay, Robin's over here. Nope, nope. That's the way to Seb's lair. Yeah, sorry, buddy. There's the guild. I require money for my subpar weapons. Okay, I can't just do the thing. Goodbye. Really? I can't get rid of the other slingshot? Are you kidding me? I guess I will keep it until I get a copper trash can. Hello, frog. Great. <sighs> Didn't get my mushrooms, I don't think. No, I didn't. Give me that shit. Boop, 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 boop. Iridium fish! What do I still have? Oh, the totem. Uh, oh no, I just had the crafting. I just got the crafting recipe for the other totem, I think. So. Yeah, I guess you'll fucking go in there. First off. Oh, I just wanted to tell you you're a good kitty, but. Where's our portal? Clear and sun sunny tomorrow, the perfect weather for the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. The event will take place on the beach starting between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Don't be late. 
Okay. That's one town event I'll actually go to. I'll go to more once I'm friends with more people, but you know. I'm focused on my cash money. <laughs> Queen of sauce. Bread! Oh, I already know how to cook bread. Okay. They're in good humor today. Well, I can't go to the mines. <laughs> <laughs> Moonlight jellies. Okay. Alright, Demetrius, I'll go. Guess I'll fish today, too, or something. It's murders. I have got quite a bit of money. Thought I wasn't going to have enough money for a uh, capitalist pier, but... Excuse you. Not welcome here. Yeah, I was, um, I'm thinking about romancing Maru in my personal file, because she pretty much builds a construct, which is awesome. And yes, Katie, it is the exact kind of construct you were thinking. It's like Construct 8. Um, she pretty much builds a construct at, like, like, right before you guys get married, or, like, the final date, or whatever. Yeah, she pretty much builds one, and it flies off to space. Like, it gains its own sentience and flies off to space. It's awesome. But Haley's also pretty cool, so I don't know. I also probably won't be playing my personal file too much, so it was kind of just to get a handle on things. Seb was like always my first choice when I watched the romances, he just captured my heart immediately. He's adorable and it me. But yeah, Maru's is cute too. Oh, battery. But yeah, I love that Maru's like final romance event is uh, pretty much building a construct. Oh, I can't wait till it's followed. I don't hear the bees buzzing in my goddamn ears all the time. This has been such an unsettling season. still needs to go. Oh, the hardwood. I need an upgraded axe for that. You know what? I'll have Clint break open some geodes. If he's open. He should be open. Maybe not, because it's a special day, but... The event also takes place later, so I don't fucking know. I guess we'll see. I think that's Jody. Hi, Jody. Sweet pea. Oh. Mayor Lewis, just you're a fucking freak, dude. 
Eh, you won't even let me forage at the beach. I will say, oh, wrong, wrong spot. Maru's construct does not accidentally punch anybody to death. So it's inferior in that way. Call. Earth gem. Or earth crystal. Limestone. Oh, marble, iron, ooh, fairy stone, Geminite, clay, more Geminite, ooh, Gunther's gonna be happy with me. What the hell are you? Alright, thanks, Clint. Okay. Bop. Okay, hi, Gunther. Yeah, new reward. Hell yeah! What you got? A drum block. Plays a drum sound when you walk past. And a large futon bear. Alright. Let's go place those, I guess. Gunther, you have an odd idea of rewards. Why do you get to go down there, Mayor Lewis? You fucking... Damn it. <laughs> so the mayor can just go to the livestock seller and ask her for his underwear back. I I'm, I'm not over it, and I'll probably never be over it. It's like one of the most awkward quests I've gotten in gaming. I just, I just can't. Okay, nothing to forage up here. What are the titles of my previous parts where I finally found the fucking boxers in Marnie's house was I'm never going to look at Mayor Lewis the same way ever again. Okay, so I don't need the slimes anymore. Um... I probably need them for crafting. I'm I'm sure I'll need them for crafting. What the hell? Okay, I'll keep the barite because I'm going to need it for something, I guess. Oh, no, I guess not. Something to donate. Well, fuck. Well, no, but it wouldn't let me donate it, would it? I'll just pop it up here for now. I don't give a shit. Oh, it did? Fuck me. Uh, Earth Crystal. Okay. Sweet Pea, Earth Crystal, Limestone, Geminite. Get some money. Alright.
Can I sit on him? Is he just decoration? Just decoration. He looks... <laughs> looks like one of those Snorlax plushes. Guess I'll make sure there's no grass on my farm. Alright. Perimeter sweep looks good. Cool. In the Grange display? What is the Grange display? Hi, Abigail. Here to get the fuck away from your dad. Don't blame you. Uh, let's see. Give me more grass for my eventual animals. mouse pine cone give me that oh I miss my daily spring onions man Oh, shut up. Oh, God, nearly every stream you gotta play me like this, Dullshock. It's actually been a, a little bit, just because um, I haven't been playing much on my PS4 lately. I have an FMV game I am going through, and I need to play more. I'm looking 100% it, which means I have to play it a few times, which I had planned on having done by now, but, uh, it's me. Okay. Yes, what I'll do. Take my coal. And where's my fucking copper? Take my copper. And just kill time. Oh. Okay. Actually, message from my mod. Boop. Oh shit, it is.
Okay. Cool. So, for those of you watching on YouTube, I'm going to stop the recording here. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.